Hello, and welcome back to Righteous Talk, here with Prophet Martin and, and Pastor Martin. We're here delighted today to give you the good news of Jesus Christ, Fidelity Bread. Hallelujah. And we're going out of Romans 10, 9, and 10. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, Pastor, lead us into prayer. Heavenly Father, bless this Righteous Talk. And let this word touch who it needs to touch and let your Holy Ghost be in the atmosphere. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So we welcome you and we thank you for tuning in today with Righteous Talk. And the scripture of Romans 10, 9, 10, verse 9 through 10. 9, that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, that God raised himself from the dead, you will be saved. Verse 10, for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and, and with, it, with your mouth that you confess and you are saved. Amen? Amen. Pastor, give us revelation. Amen. Well, first of all, we know we have the need of salvation. If you go to Romans 6 and 23, the wages of sin is death. But God's gift is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And now you have the plan of salvation, which we just read, which is Romans, you know, chapter 10, verses 9 through 10. That if you believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross for your sin, you shall be saved. And you confess with your mouth that Jesus, you know, is, you know, Lord is raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So we've got to understand that you must have, first, you have the need of salvation, and now you have the method of salvation. You know what I mean? And this is, you know, the method of salvation because it is clear that if you what? If you confess with your mouth. So you got to use your mouth to confess what? Jesus to be what? The Lord. And then you got to believe in your heart your that God is raised from the dead. That's you right. know, so there's two things that's going on here. First, you got to what? Confess. Mm -hmm. And then you got to what? You got to believe. Amen. You got to not only confess, but you got to confess with what? Your mouth. So you got to speak it. Amen. You know, speak out of your mouth that Jesus is what? Going to be Lord over your life. Amen. You know, Amen. use th your mouth for what? The method and the plan of salvation that you may have what? Eternal life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And believing is a good part because the Bible says in 11, I mean, uh, Hebrews 11 and 6, mm -hmm. that. You know, he's a reward of them that what? Seek him diligent, mm -hmm. diligently. Yeah. And if you go to Hebrews 11 and 1, what does it say? You know, faith. You know, you must have faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Even though we're calling on a God that we cannot see, we must what? Believe the reality of Jesus Christ. So when you confess with your, you know, your mouth and you believe in your heart, you're believing the reality of Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ is going to be what? Your Lord. You know what I mean? And, and, and you also have to believe that he raised himself from the dead. That's right. The resurrection. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, the resurrection was a big, huge part of the crucifixion. So you have to believe on the death, burial, and the resurrection, as we often teach here. And you have to be, have that assurity and know and believe in your heart as you confess in your mouth, from your mouth, that Jesus is Lord. And that he went to the cross and died on Calvary and rose himself and rose from the dead. He conquered the grave. He rose, rose himself up. He resurrected for us, for everything to be complete. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So that, that we will have a personal relationship with Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. That opens the door for us to have a relationship with Yahweh, our God Almighty. Amen? Amen. Now go to what uh, what you said, John 3 and 16, what did it say? Um, for God so, for loved, God the so world. loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting Knows life. Knows what the key word, believeth in yeah. him. Believe. So yeah. this is what we are teaching on today on Righteous Talk and Believing. So that's for um, our daily bread for today. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, 
believe in your heart that he went on the cross and died for you and for all of us for this whole entire world so that we will have a relationship with him so that we will have that that advocate with the father so that we can go boldly to god's throne through all things hallelujah glory to god in jesus name i pray that that has encouraged you and i pray that it was uplifting for you and beloved we thank you for joining in with righteous talk here this evening uh we uh had to do that quickly because we're running behind schedule here and we are on we are booked for the radio station so we're not letting you go we want you to stay tuned because we're collaborating righteous talk with our radio station tonight that we're speaking on god's grace god's grace god's grace amen so continue to stay tuned then so that you will hear the message on the radio station with Blessed Assurance Temple of Our Living God Ministry, Righteous Talk, here on the radio station. So just to further elaborate for a couple minutes that we have um, to elaborate on uh, Romans 10. Mm -hmm, Romans 10, chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. That's right. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart. That he went to the cross and died for you and that he resurrected for for us. Hallelujah. That he died for us, he laid his life down for us, and he picked his life back up again for us. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So give us some more revelation, man. Well, when we talk about you shall be, a lot of people don't get it wrong now. In the process of time. Everything Amen. takes is is what? In the process of time. Even when Jesus was born, it took what? It took time for him to be born, didn't it? It took time for him to, you know, be recognized as king. It took mm -hmm. time for him to be recognized as savior. It took time for him to even give us the Holy Ghost that we have power over all the power in it. Amen. Amen. And that does give us power over all the enemy, beloved. Uh, having that advocate with the Father, that special uh, symbolic advocate with the Father that arch in heaven. Hallelujah. So Jesus did all this for us so that we can go to God in prayer, so that we can um, be in the presence of the Lord and God's presence be in our atmosphere. And that is the Holy Spirit, beloved. You know, Jesus said, I go away and prepare a place for you that where I am that you may be also. So the and he said, he promised that I will not leave you comfortless when I go. But I will leave you with the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. So I pray that that message has encouraged you and blessed you. And now we are now on Block Talk Radio. Welcome to our radio station with Pastor Maurice Martin and Prophet Taisha Martin teaching on God's grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, Father God, we thank you, Father Lord, for blessing us to teach your glorious gospel trusting us and enabling us with your glorious gospel over these internet waves lord god and i pray in the name of jesus lord god we pray in the name of jesus lord god that your holy spirit will be the mouthpiece father god in jesus name heavenly father in jesus name we pray that you bind all hindrance in the name of jesus lord and let your message go through clearly in the name of jesus father god and touch those who need to be touched in jesus holy name heavenly father we thank you lord god for the things that you have done the things you are doing and the things that you are yet to do. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the radio station. Uh, and we're teaching on God's grace. Amen. So it is by grace that we are what? We are saved. It's not by our works, but it's by God's grace and mercy that we are what? We are saved. It is nothing that we should boast about or brag about. Because it is nothing that we have done. It is all that he has done. When he Amen. gave, when he came and he gave his life for us. Because the Bible said, yet while we were sinners, what? Christ died for us. And when he did that, he showed us what? His grace and his mercy. And it's about his grace and his mercy that you what? You woke, you woke up this morning. That God Amen. started you on your way. Amen. You know, that you got food on your table. That you got clothes on your back. That Amen. you got a job. That you got income coming to your house. Amen. It is by what? God's grace. Everything is what? God's in the first place. Mm -hmm. If you ever have a need, you know what? It is God's grace that blesses you with that need. Amen. 
Amen. You know, if you're sick in your body and, and God heals you, it's, it's not just because of your prayers, it's because of God's grace. Amen. You know what I mean? Yes, the prayers, you know, of the effectual firm prayers of the righteous availeth much, but the truth of the matter is what? God's grace that allowed those prayers to be heard that you can be healed. Mm -hmm. Because according to the Bible, our righteousness is even as filthy rags. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing by what we do. It's all about what, what God decides to allow to happen. That's right. That's you know, so it is God's grace. It is God's mercy. And it is God's love. Right. That we are here today. Amen. You know, that you are here today. Amen. You know, that your family members are here today. You know, that you got the blessings that you got. Amen. You know, that you got the way making that you got. Amen. You know, that the, you got the money that you have in your pocket. You know, we ought to be thankful for what? God's grace. Amen. I remember, you know, my wife had, you know, preached a sermon about God's grace, how we shouldn't sit on what? On your grace. Amen. Give us a little bit of. You know, insight on, on, on what you talk about. Well, praise not the Lord. sitting on God's grace. Praise the Lord. Uh, not sitting on God's grace. Um, I, I have taught a lot of messages on God's grace. Uh, one was, what are you doing with the grace, with, with the precious grace that God has given you? I taught on so many, I can't even remember. I would have to go back through my um, sermon files to give you all the ones that I taught on about grace. But... Uh, I remember this one uh, specific one that I taught on about sitting on your grace was, you know, get up and be about God's business. Mm -hmm. Get up and be a doer, you know, for the Lord. See, God said, go ye out into the world and preach the gospel. The whole world he spoke to. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So, you know, we have people that, you know, are seasoned Christians. We have people that come to church just to warm up the chairs. We have people that are just coming to church just to come to church because it's a, a, a ritual or, or a tradition, you know. But what are you doing for the body of Christ? What are you doing active in the body of Christ? What are you doing for Abba, our Lord and God and Savior, you know, for our Messiah today that has done so much for you, for Thank us? Jesus, what are you doing? Are you doing something? Because every day, that God allows you to live in is grace. Jesus came, the Messiah came and brought grace to us. Took us from under the law and brought us into his grace. So his grace and his mercies is very sufficient. And efficient enough for thee. Sufficient enough for thee. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we have to remember that every day is a grace. Every day is grace. You know, us right now, you right now, your grace. You know, because it had not been for the Messiah coming into the world and and sacrificing his 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 life for us. There would be no grace. And oh Lord, my God Almighty, I cannot imagine what the world would be without grace. Uh, personally, I think that every person would be in a dungeon's den if it was not for grace. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now, don't get it twisted when I say that, you know, he came and, and delivered us, helped us from the law, you know, and brought grace into it. Don't disregard God's statutes and God's laws because you have to still live by God's statutes, okay? The Ten Commandments is still alive. Hallelujah. You need to obey the Ten Commandments. Thus saith the Lord. You need to obey what our Bible tells us to live by. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen? Amen. Amen. So you need to not disregard the law because when we are when we're speaking of we're not under the law anymore and we're under grace yes for sure beloved we are under grace but the law that they are talking about and that us saints are talking about the law about being stoned if you committed a sin being hung if you committed a sin being slaughtered being uh with your head cut off you know if you committed something that was against the law 
Those are the type of laws that we're talking about that we're not under anymore. Amen. Amen. Because Glory see, to God. Jesus came and he took away, you know, he, he took away some of the old covenant. And the reason why that way we can live uh, in better, a better way of living. The way God intended us for, to live in the first place. Because you got to understand back then, you know, the priests, you know, had to cut up bullocks and lambs and goats and, yes. you know, and, yes. and, and, and doves and, you know, and sprinkle and, around blood and around and the that altar. that became not good enough for God anymore because men were just, and, you know, God seen the thoughts and the hearts of men and he was just so, you know, like I said in the other sermon, you know, God actually repented of making men. That's how fed up he was. We ought to be thankful that he sent us grace. We ought to be thankful, and I am so thankful, hallelujah, glory to my holy king of glory, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that came and gave me grace, hallelujah. So today we are in grace, yesterday we were in grace, hallelujah, and if God be it, then tomorrow we'll be in grace, glory, hallelujah. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed. Do not disagree, I mean, do not disregard God's statutes and laws because they are alive. You know, I don't like to hear it when I hear someone say, well, we're not under the Ten Commandments or we're not under the law. We are under grace. True, but not true because we still are under the Ten Commandments. Amen? Well, and I agree with you. We, we're still under the Ten Commandments. We are still under the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is still in the New Testament. So how could you do away with it? You can't because you got to remember now, there's two Ten Commandments that God had gave Moses, right? Mm -hmm. The first one, he had Moses to write on a what? A stone tablet. Amen. The second one, he wrote on a stone tablet with his own finger. Amen. And so there's two. There's one for the law and there's one for grace. Mm -hmm. And the reason why the Ten Commandments didn't change because they were still, you know, they still pertain to today. Because man still That's needs right. a way of direction even today because That's right. man still is what? Unrighteousness Amen. and evil today. Amen. You know, because the law back then, you got to understand, it, it ain't as good as it is because... See, back then, God gave them direct orders. I mean, That's he would right. speak to That's them right. That's right. directly. Amen. And Amen. if they didn't Glory. follow Hallelujah. God's Thank law, Jesus. sometimes they were killed on the spot. I mean, God would just smoke you right there. He would kill them on the spot. Like, poof, you're going. But you know now, what I'm saying? So, if you sin, you have an advocate with the Father. That's right. Which if, gives us our grace. If you're saved. That's right. Make it clear, Pastor. If you're saved. If you have if you believe on Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and you have confessed that He is Lord of our life, of your life, and you have been baptized and repented for the remission of your sins, and you have been filled and saved with the uh, sanctification of the Holy Spirit, Hallelujah, filled with the Holy Ghost, you know, then That's right, you have the advocate yeah. with the Father. You understand? Then you have the advocate with the Father. But speaking back on, you know, under the law, I just don't like it when I see someone and I try and I explain to them like I'm explaining to you. Don't disregard God's laws because God is a God of order. So if God disregarded his laws, then he where's the order? You understand? Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not covenant, thou shalt, thou shalt not, you know, thou shalt uh, honor thy mother and thy father. You know, things that still is in the New Testament. You know, whoremongers and, 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 and fornicators and, and workers of iniquity, you know, things like that. The Ten, the, the Ten Commandments is still alive. God's laws still are effective. And you need to oblige by God's laws and statutes. And you need to live by God's statutes and God's laws in order to receive grace. You understand? People take advantage of grace. That's what I taught on. What are you doing with your grace? 
Stop sitting on your grace. Get up and be a doer for God's kingdom. Get up and be a doer for God's sake, God's name's sake. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Well, you know, we got two minutes left here on air. So is there any announcements that you would like to make? Well, I'd just like to uh, thank everyone for tuning in to um, Blessed Assurance Temple of Our Living God Ministry here on the radio. And also, we're collaborating tonight with Righteous Talk Ministry. I thank all of the, view the viewers that has viewed in on this channel. Um, there are plenty of other um, filmings that you can, and, and daily breaks that you can uh, go to here on this channel as well. And also, um, I'm thankful for the viewers. Pastor and I are very thankful for the listeners on the radio station that are tuned in with us. Hallelujah, glory Amen. to God. And we say shalom and God speed unto you and that this message has been an encouragement to you and that you will continue to take this message and continue to do whatever goodness that you are doing for Christ Jesus and the body of Christ, that you will continue to spread the good news of Jesus Christ and, 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 and spread it and, and, and explain it and the right way hallelujah because god said don't take away from his word and That's don't it. add to <laughs> his word hallelujah amen 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 so stay focused you know on god stay focused on christ jesus stay focused on our savior that came and gave us grace hallelujah glory to god and don't sit on your grace get up and be a doer for god's kingdom get up and be something force for god you know uh, there's a lot of things that you can do for God's name's sake. There's a lot of things that you can do to, to uh, get the gospel out there. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Pastor, pray us out. Well, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that this message on grace, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that people realize God's grace. They're thankful for their family. They're thankful for you know, their personal relationship. They're thankful for God coming and giving us salvation. Amen. We're thankful for all the things that Thank God you, has Jesus. blessed them, you know, to be. What he's going to bless them to be. Where they are. Where he's going to take them to, Lord. And ask you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, do these things, Lord, for the body of Christ and for us. In Jesus' name we pray. And Amen. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I pray that you are thankful for your grace. Hallelujah. Give God the praises, the glory, and all the honor. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we say unto you, Godspeed and shalom. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God.